I came up with the name years before I was singing again. I love green tea. Um, I love the word peng. I say it a lot. Yeah, it's my it's my favourite way to say something's nice, you know what I mean, Peng. It's just what I went with, man. It was cool. I didn't want to just be known as Arya. It's funny because we went to Thailand and in Thailand, Peng translates to Arya. It's jokes, isn't it? It was in Thailand, uh, yeah. Peng is the name of a, the song, like, you know, Arya is a piece of music from classical music. That's how they, how they say Arya is Peng. It's funny. It's meant to be, all of it. <laughs> you do not tell me inspiration Yeah, I'm trying to lose my mind To elevate I moved to Mexico because I was looking for some sort of change, you know? And I needed the space to make the change. But I actually ended up being there a year and finding my first band and singing again and everything just kind of came full circle there, so... It's a very special place to me. I did a lot of healing there, yeah. Um, so I think it was kind of natural that I started singing again. I just didn't realise how much of an important thing it was to me until I realised, you know what I mean? I wasn't sure I even wanted to do it professionally, you know what I mean? I just wanted to come back to London and make some music and like, see the family for a bit. And then I was planning to go back to Mexico, but I ended up staying. <laughs> I've always been connected to music. I have a musical father. I mean, he named me Aria, which is, you know, a musical name. Um, he was always singing a lot, um, showed me a lot of theatre and classical music. I was, I've always been into music. I've always been in church choir at school. and I, I fell out of love with it for a bit, um, but essentially it's always been the only kind of thing I've been interested in, the only thing that kind of makes me happy, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to give yourself a genre. I like psychedelic R&B. I like trip hop. You know what I mean? I like it when people say, you know, it's trip hop. But actually myself, I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just good vibrations, man. My first EP, Sensi, I was very much finding my feet. You know what I mean? but just in front of people. And it was a really helpful experience and it was really good for my confidence. And it was very scary to put out a project and especially if you don't have like really high confidence or you know what I mean, and you're new to something. I was kind of like, fuck it, let's see what happens um, and put it out. And people liked it, you know what I mean? And I got booked for shows and but everything just happens for a reason. I'm kind of just going with the flow to be honest. The self-respect and the self-love, I mean, it's an ongoing challenge and process. I mean, it's never ending. For me, it's been more of a process reaching that, um, which is, you know, hard, but beneficial and character building, essentially. That's kind of like part of it, to be as honest as I can and just chat about stuff that's going on inside me or in my immediate environment. There's definitely subjects and messages that I'm not trying to convey at all. You know, like materialism and I hate listening to songs that are just talking about what designer clothes they've got on and how much money they've got. That really pisses me off, to be honest. I've been through spouts of heavy materialism and so that's how it kind of started. Like, you know, my mum forcing me into charity shops, bazaars, you know what I mean? And um, I used to hate it. You know, I was that adamant that, you know, I wanted to fit in that bad. And from that, you know, I quickly learned that it was just, it wasn't going to go like that. So I just had to start looking cool somehow else, you know what I mean? But if you ask me, you know, all my clothes are from charity shops. Everything's secondhand. And, you know, actually, when you take a break from it and you zoom out from it, it's, a lot of it's unnecessary. Sing, sing, family. London bridges I do have a strong connection with nature, uh, with nature and I'm my highest self when I'm in nature and in that environment and relaxed and not worrying about worldly things, you know what I mean? Um, but essentially we've all got a mad connection to nature because we are nature. So, you know what I mean? It's not anything separate from us. In fact, we are a part of it. Um, it's just because we live in these cities and in these um, places that 
it's, we, we, we so easily forget. But yeah, nature for me is very, it's vital. For all of us, it's vital, you know what I mean? And uh, the funny thing is, when I'm away from it, and when I'm a bit depressed, and when I'm going through my madness, is when I write the best songs. So, it's, it's mad, isn't it? It's kind of swings and roundabouts, I don't know. Try numbing me with them frequencies As we all sit, get lean Distracted by these screens I agree, ignorance is bliss yeah. uh, I think a lot of my tattoos have a lot of different stories But as I get older, they do tend to mean a lot more And yeah, reminders, you know, to be calm um, To be loving and mindful and um, patient You know, I have a lot of universal symbols tattooed on me To remember, you know, it's easy to just see this, you know what I mean? So it's nice to be reminded of this sometimes. Ah, but you can't take my city from me. Ah. In the future, you can expect a lot more music. Hopefully, some good songs, some good lyricism. I hope to get better at writing and expressing myself. I hope to get better at singing. There's lots of features coming out this year and a couple more projects too, so yeah, just a lot of music. <laughs> Every single day, trying to take the vibe of my city away. Heavy on my mind, every single day, trying to take the vibe of my city away.